Uh, <laughs> mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, one, two, one, two. I'll name this podcast later, episode number 22. Yeah. Somewhere, yeah. Feels good. Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. 22 sounds right. Uh, I'm your host, Joe Budden. I have fucking Rory and Marissa in the building for some reason still. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, hopefully one day we'll figure that out. And here we are. Yeah. Hello. What's up? Oh, nothing. What's up with you? Oh, come on. Knock it off. <laughs> I'm fucking, what's I'm up cheerful with you? today. Why, I wonder? I just had a lot of coffee. <laughs> so I'm just bouncing so up the wall. So you're high on caffeine? Yep. And oh. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay. Mm-hmm. That, that's good to hear. How was your weekend? Uh, I didn't do a fucking thing. I know. I saw the tweets. Mm-hmm. Although I did go see Kehlani's show on Sunday. I did one thing. How was that? Very good. Sold out show. Crowd was crazy. Knew every word. Kehlani is the girl that all these guys like, right? Mm-hmm. Singer from Oakland, 19 or maybe 20 now. Cute girl. What's her song? Um, she's nothing on Young the radio. Young hoes winning out here now. Get away, fuck with you. Um, the song with Chance the Rapper. I don't remember the name. BJ the, the Chicago kid. A lot of my male friends like that girl. She's a she's very cute, good, right? and she's a great songwriter too. Yeah, writes all her own stuff. Yeah, I think I saw her. Uh, you've you've interacted with her on mm-hmm. Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw a picture of her. I was very disappointed that she was nineteen. Yeah, well, she's twenty now. If that helps. No, no, it doesn't. Nope, no, no, <laughs> no, it no. Does no major not. difference. No, no major difference at all. Roy, what's going on with you, bro? You know, going through emails because I didn't have time to do that. So I'm trying to make sure our segment isn't rushed. But other than that, good. You know, <laughs> I was cold, cold out of work yesterday. I was sick, laid Aww. in bed, feeling not feeling up to par yet, but I'm getting there. Yeah, were you contagious? No, I don't think I'm contagious. Look at all you care about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck my well-being. Self-centered fuck. <laughs> yep. Are you contagious? Well, are you feeling better? Uh, I'm almost there. Not 100%. Mm, okay. Well, I hope you feel better, bro. Thanks, man. All right, so what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Uh, Marissa has a crush on Classic Man. Yes, he is fun. I had no idea. I don't even know if I want to have any idea on the people that Marissa has <laughs> crushes on, by the way, because Marissa is really, really... Weird. <laughs> I'm not weird. I just have her success rate isn't high right now, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure if. Yeah. By the way, my flyout. I think it. Uh, I I think I misinterpreted the text. Oh, so you didn't get flown out? No. Yeah, I meant to ask you that. I totally <laughs> forgot. <laughs> can we, wait, can we review? Can we review the text? No. Because maybe I just took it wrong. Well, well, wait. Let's slow down for a second. One thing at a time. Okay. <laughs> I was singing classic man. <laughs> Because that song is one of those songs that you just hear for two seconds and, and it's yeah. stuck in your head for Forever. the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, and my first time uh, actually knowing who sung that song was I watching think the, the I think Awards. the Dream wrote it. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just being a dick. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to say, I think he wrote his own song. <laughs> um, okay, okay, it doesn't sound like a song Dream would write. No, not at all. At all. Oh, that's why your little joke is oh, funny. The yeah. jo- oh, I get it from last week. <laughs> Marissa, week's you're really slow. <laughs> but, uh, all right, so that's the first time I saw that guy and uh, when he performed with Janelle Monet, and they did that little mm-hmm. weird uh, exit, that point that point thing they did. That was really <laughs> yeah. weird. Yeah. Uh, but so Marissa has a crush on Classic Man, which yeah. is confusing to me because... If he's you look to- at my track record. He's totally outside. <laughs> Mar- Marissa likes men with leather pants. I don't, I've never dealt with a guy with leather pants. Yes, you have. Who? Uh, the guy that we can't say. Delayed? Threesome guy. Delayed. The one who Him you thought was the, <laughs> the one that you thought was going to fly you out yeah. wears leather pants. Him and delayed. <laughs> well, that both- is delayed. No, all right, see, we got some confusion. All right, uh, I don't, delayed is delayed. Delayed is the same fly out person who's also the same. Delayed is lust. Oh, that wasn't who I meant. I know. And then you have him. Oh, okay, so. And they both wear leather pants. Lust lust wears leather pants. They both wear leather pants. Okay. So you like men who wear leather pants. (laughs) That's just two out of the the rest. That's just two out of the 200. Fishbot wouldn't dare wear leather pants. Yet. That's debatable. Yet. Yeah, we don't know that. Yeah, Let him get he, some money. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's yeah. He yeah. looked like the type if he got right. some money, he would wear some leather pants. <laughs> and and let's be clear, you have you have to uh, obtain a certain amount of money to even think Pull about off. wearing leather yeah. pants. Yeah, that's it's true. a certain um, tax bracket, which yeah. actually makes you look like a lower tax bracket. It's weird how that In irony weird works way. out. Mm-hmm. It's weird. <laughs> um, I I would never wear leather pants. I got I don't wear leather pants. But you wear maybe them. for a Halloween. You should dress like a, a, a regular rapper for Halloween. No, I would never. <laughs> oh my God, wouldn't that be amazing? And no. like the ridiculous sunglasses no, and like 40 wouldn't. chains. Yeah. And, oh my geez, I would I be here so. for that. I've got way too much integrity for... Maybe for your 30-foot for birthday. That. Nah, nah, <laughs> not going to do it. Leather leather pants I have a thing against. Uh, white jeans I have a thing against. 
I feel like only Puerto Ricans and drug dealers should wear white pants. Yeah. White parties, I have a thing against. I hate I white I'm not, parties. not a big white party person. Yeah, I have a theory about white parties. They were really cool in like 97. Uh, today, you're just a fucking bird if you go to an all white party. And you're an extra bird if you wear all white to the all white party. Right. Um, but anyway, so Marissa has a crush on uh, the classic man. Jadena. Which is, what's his name? Jadena. Jadena. Yep. That's really weird considering Marissa likes oh my, like my he looks like timing. he looks like time travel exists. I want to answer like yeah. he's not from this I'm gonna, era. Hold on, wait. Should I, I agree. Should I answer the FaceTime for Bay? Who was Bay? <sighs> I have no idea who this person is. Cleveland. Do you know you have? But this is just the guy that you said was not Bay a week and a half ago. No, like, Does he wear leather pants? No, he doesn't. Oh, I'm done with. It. I don't care about that. So Marissa likes this fucking Hi. classic man. Guy. Yo, my nigga, are you seriously doing this right I'm now? Gonna, I have to. What? Wait, why did you just call me a whore bag? I gotta go. I, I'll, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what an endearing I'm on face the podcast, time. Podcast. So. All right, bye. Bye. Thank you. Your it, life is a mess, it's but not, it's intriguing. It is. I mean, I I enjoy it. Marissa likes classic man. Let me actually finish my thought. But she doesn't like the fact that he wears suits. No, that's like not my style. But underneath that, I'm sure it's great. Which is weird to me because if someone were to like classic man, mm -hmm. I would take it it's partly because he's classic man. I mean, I like what he stands for, and I think suits. he's very well spoken. And um, he you've has, heard him. You've heard him speak. Yeah, I watched a couple of interviews when I decided I had a crush last night. I want to see if he's like retarded. Yo, or you're not. really 12 years old in the head still. <laughs> How like, do, are you I aware need to, that I need to. Uh, to inve investigate and see whether or not he's worth having a crush on. Or maybe I'm ignorant. Is this something that women do? Yeah, we like, look up our crush. If you we... get a you get a crush and then you just watch a bunch of interviews. I mean, uh, I don't know if that's what every girl does. If you like, like rappers, if they, yeah, you have to like like a celebrity to do that. I can't watch an interview of like John from down the street. Have you ever liked John from down the street? No, but if well, I did, well, there, it's because I can't watch his interviews on YouTube. That's okay. why. Okay, I'm, I'm a little off, Marissa. <laughs> so you like YouTube. You don't really like... Exactly. Men. It's really just about the YouTube. What a fucking weirdo. <laughs> and now this man is FaceTiming you during our podcast. Yeah, this is just man. Cleveland. He's always around. I mean, it's not like a Look bad. how fast we go from Bay to... No, he yes. is now Bay. Now he's just always around. No, but I mean, like, that's just like, he'll always be a thing. You know, we need to introduce a segment a weekly segment where we just get updated on your mess of a love life. Well, I think we kind of do that, that already. We, yeah, we just covered it though. <laughs> yeah, but we, yeah, but we do it, but we do it randomly. Can we can we investigate yeah. this fly out situation? I really don't know how I went wrong here. Okay, so last week, uh, for those of you who do not know, Marissa was very excited. Was that last week or the week before? It was, it was last, last week. week, yep. Marissa was very excited because she got her first flyout offer. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, no, everyone. it's a big moment for her. Like it's a really, uh, really big moment for her. All my years she, of... She's really moving up in the universe <laughs> here. And she was very... She was... She was Geeked. she was on the freshman team. I was. She's at JV now. I, I wouldn't put her at varsity. I'm still gonna put her on freshman, freshman. Twitter, honey. Okay. Team. Wait, which one is uh, big, better, JV or freshman? J, they're both bad. They're, okay. <laughs> they're both awful. But, but JV, JV is a is bit better, better than okay, freshman. Got it. So I'm and you're freshman on still. freshman. Okay. I, and that's Had debatable. I gotten the fly out, though, I probably would have been JV. So, so what was the text that made you think that you had gotten your very first fly out offer? Okay, it needs a little context. Um, I told him I'd be in his town the week before. He was all excited. He hit me even in between. I'm like, are you here yet? I'm like, not yet. Then when I landed, he wasn't there because he had to go do something in another city. So he said he'd be back Sunday. He didn't make it back Sunday. He came back Monday, texted me in the morning like, I'll be there later today. Are you, will you be gone already? I said, my flight leaves at three, sad face. He said, damn, babe, will I ever see you? I said, we have to make it happen soon. He said, yes, we need to say when and it's done. And let me just intervene here. Uh, when a nigga says, damn, babe, will I ever see you? <laughs> He, he wants to fuck, and that of is course. probably yeah, all he fine. wants to do. He that's might fine. be in the middle of jerking off. His dick might be in his hand. He's feeling really lusty, and he's out of character. Is that what you think? Is so? But one hundred percent. He said, "Yes, we need to say when, and it's done." Oh yeah, that it, was a that was an offer. And say right? when it's done is when you're kind of tiptoeing because he would have said when, but when you kind of just put it in the atmosphere, like yeah, no, just say whatever, and we'll get it done. Yeah, but he's never like we've never had that type of relationship where like he felt like he needs to just. Fucking blow smoke. So. I know. Well, you're probably not the first person he calls when he when he's feeling lusty. Okay, that's fine. This sounds like a few of his uh, top lusty candidates have canceled, and it's fucking bottom of the knife here with Marissa. No, but I'm pretty sure he could literally. He, I'm sure there's like a thousand others to call. I to. know y'all always sure about things that you're unsure about. Okay, but anyway, but anyway 
<laughs> so then I just said, um, I'd either need a flight later back tonight or I can come back on Wednesday. Let me know. He said, either or I just landed. And then I said, I just landed back in New Jersey. I'll come back Wednesday. Let me know. I'll send oh, you come info. on. Get to the fucking punch. That was it. The, lem- the say when and it's done was what I thought was the let me know when because we don't live anywhere near each other. And then um, I said, like I said, I could come back Wednesday. He said, either or I just landed. I said, I landed in June. So New Jersey. you interpreted say when and it's done. Right. But what, what else does that mean? I clear my schedule, and then what am I supposed to, like, get myself to there? As he was flying you out. So when did you say when? I Oh, at the end. So I said, um, because he, he said either or when I said Wednesday or tonight. But I was like, well, tonight's already done. I'm back home now, so I can come Wednesday. Let me know. I'll send you info. Yo, it's a, see, you, you, you don't know that. You don't even hear that you shouldn't be this thirsty. You just left a place, landed home. I mean, whatever. And you sound very prepared to go right back there on a flight that same night if the night was not done. I'm sure that's what you would have done. Yeah, probably. Nothing is wrong with that in your head. I mean, that's neither here nor there. No, it's here and there. The whole point was, I'm just, I, did I, how did I misinterpret that? Or uh, but, did I misinterpret uh, Okay, but can you answer my question? Um, yeah, Nothing well, is wrong with that in your head at all. I'm, like, that's normal behavior. Uh, for him. No, for you, I'm asking. No, I'm saying with him. Me, yes. And only him. Mm-hmm. Okay, so go ahead. That was really it. And then he said, okay. So how is this not a fly out? Let's hear it. Because I haven't heard from him since. He didn't say, okay, send info. He didn't say any of Oh, wait, shit. so you said uh, tonight is done. How about Wednesday? Wednesday's good, he said. And then um, I said, let me know, and I'll send info. He said, okay, sweet. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and I haven't talked to him. <laughs> this isn't, but I don't know. Why are we? Okay. I don't like how laugh, how hard you're laughing. This is not a joking Yo, matter. this is wonderful. <laughs> why? See, why? reasons like this is why I can't fire you because who else would I be able to laugh at? <laughs> oh man, this is this is great. I mean, whatever. <laughs> all right, so it. All right, I get it now. So my theory is correct. So what? He was jerking off. He was feeling lusty. And uh, not that he stuff. was jerking off, but you were con- you were there, so it was convenient because you were there. And the second that you were not there anymore, conversation ceased. Yeah, and but he I knew I was leaving, and he said, "Say when, and it's done." I'm yeah, still I know, hung but up let's on that. just talk. Yeah, okay. and I was t- <laughs> I was tweeted this earlier about <laughs> men just flirt sometimes just to pass the time. It doesn't <laughs> mean we necessarily t- serious. I mean, there's like. I, I guess. I know. There's like a million guys. I know, but just considering, you know what I mean? He's doing it to me. I know, oh, I, I guess. We but know. it's fine. It's we, fine. Oh, poor baby. I really wasn't that upset about it because I was still excited that we even got there, even though it didn't come to fruition. I'll fly you to above. fucking Philly. Thank you. <laughs> we, I'll fly you somewhere. Oh, but you, you're banned from Philly. Um, Man, I could do oh. what I want. What happened in Philly? Well, uh, no, because I just Philly cut bull. off Michael Kors. Philly oh, bull. okay, okay, okay. She okay, can't okay. go to fucking Philly anymore. Shit, I'm not sure if I can go to Philly anymore. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring you, I'll bring you guys back some cheesesteaks. Uh, yeah. yeah, right. So anyway, all right, so what's going on in the universe uh, right now? I feel like a lot happened last week that we didn't talk about at all. Um, uh, Bill Cosby's a rapist, but we didn't talk about that. We didn't need to talk about that. Um, yeah, he's a rapist. Uh, future Hive. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, like know, I don't offend thing. anyone. Why? <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's what we do on that. That's, that's our MO. Yeah, podcast. that is true. Um, sometimes I can't figure out if people on Twitter are trolling just to troll or they generally feel future is this amazing. It's weird because it's like, I mean, okay. people have fucked with him. Wait, time like, out okay. before you guys continue. Uh, how do you guys feel about future? I like him. I like him. Uh, that's as far as it goes. I like him in a party setting. I don't even particularly like commas, and I love ignorant shit. Like, I'm not the guy that's saying, oh, let's real hip-hop, fuck that. I like ignorant records a lot. Commas just doesn't really do it for me. Um, I think Future's been extremely consistent for a long time, so I, I think he's talented. I just don't see what everyone else sees. Well, his talent is undeniable. Yeah. Definitely good Future, song, Future yeah. has been extremely consistent for a while now. Since 2010, 2011, 11, probably. 2011. And, um... Uh, he seems to be very great at what he does. For sure. Mm-hmm. And I really liked um, Love and Affection with Rihanna. <laughs> oh, that record's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That, was fucking, <laughs> that was phenomenal. <laughs> no, seriously. It's a shame that that is my favorite future uh, record, but whatever. It took me a really long time to, to know that um, he was saying, let's fuck up some commas. I had no idea that that was what was being said. I still don't particularly know what that means. It means let's spend fuck a lot up of money. Let's spend money. Okay. 
And I have a real problem when I see a bunch of broke people. Ooh, maybe it's maybe it's too song. deep for me. Maybe he that's just, why I didn't get the commas. He just put song. out his interview <laughs> today. <laughs> Duh, you don't have commas. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. Well, he was saying that he I hopes that song. Two. <laughs> he hopes that song inspires people, even without money, to want to fuck up some commas, even if it's some hundreds. That's what he said today. Eh, I'm not rolling. Wait, say that again. He hopes that he in, that song inspires people to want to spend money and just feel like he he wants that song to give you the feeling that you could fuck up commas even if you only have hundreds to fuck. Okay, up. I all right. I, I I guess I feel I feel that he hopes it inspires people to do that. I do feel that. Now I, I, I don't. I, I, that's yeah, awful. I was about to suggest. Why would you? Why would you suggest people to do that? <laughs> no, <laughs> Throw their no, fucking rent money in now, there. Now listen to this, people. Uh. You might not want to follow that advice if you don't have any commas. <laughs> you might want to stick to budgeting. If you have $100, keep that $100 yeah, in your pocket. Don't you dare blow it. Don't you give your fucking last 100 to Bernice. <laughs> hey, I've, I've been there. <laughs> have you? Where I'd want to give Bernice money, but fought not to do it. You know, Bernice is funny. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. But anyway, okay, so we all like we all like Future. Uh, I'm not part of the Future Hive. I'm not either. And I do think that Future Hive should probably get a new name for Future Hive. Well, it started out as a joke, and I think it just started picking it stuck, more right? and more steam up. And it's kind of funnier now that I think that it is actually I mean, the I Future like Hive it. now. Yeah, like it's kind of cool and random that it just has became a thing now. I like it, but I mean, if I were in Future Hive, I would want to. I would want to get a new. I want to know where they developed the hive from, though. Like, the beehive. From I mean, beehive. I, I get Duh. it. I know, but I mean, like they should have come up with something a little bit more creative. I don't. Well, like they were joking so to suggest something. that we love Future this much as that much we consider Beyonce him is. Beyonce. So they made Future Hive, and it was a joke. And they made. And now it's legit a thing. <laughs> future Hendrix, Future Vandross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Future, well, he calls himself Future, future Pettygrass. Yeah. No, I think he took that from Twitter. I think he saw that on Twitter. Future, was like, you know what? I think I'm going to roll with Future Future Vandross is like the I, greatest. I like Future uh, Pendergrass. I, I get his, his hype though. Like, I don't feel it the same way, but the same way I feel about Fetty, and I'm like, he could do no wrong. Like, I could, it's, I'm assuming it's the same exact kind of feeling for Future, so. Well, people are, uh, to Rory's point, uh, I do think people, there are a large group of people that are trolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's funny. But I think so many people have trolled that it's starting to become it's, believable. Yeah, especially because now it seems like to people that aren't trolling, they're seeing it and thinking like, oh, this must be like the cool thing to do. So now I'm just, I'm part it of the future It has me second guess. Do I have to go back? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I missed the whole era of future that well, I don't know about. Well, he had a shitty period. Like last year when he put out the album, I mean, like he had a good single or something from it, but it didn't really like gain that much traction. And even he said like, you know, he was disappointed in the yeah. sales. But the mixtapes he's been putting out, like the 56 Nights and um, Beast Mode were like, you know... Now is this Dirty Sprite to this is an album. This, this is an album. album. This is but not it a mixtape. It's, this, this is an it's album. the follow up to a mixtape. Like that's what first, I, I. That's yeah. why I was. kind of I thought lost. it was a mixtape too, uh, but now I see this whole. Promo I'm not going to tell. Obviously, he has a, a good grasp on his career. That wouldn't yeah. have been the title that I would chose for an album when I'm in probably the biggest state the of peak. my career. Yeah. <laughs> why? Just I, I feel like a, a series of a mixtape you turn into an album and then put two in it. I, I mean, but it's at a the personal same time, thing. I, if I see Dirty, if it was just Dirty Sprite, I'd think that'd be cool. Okay, but the on two, the flip side, the two but it's like a continuation me. of like, but, like that was a big mixtape for him in his career, and it kind of really introduced. But on the flip stuff. side of that, if you're a new Future fan, you're gonna go back to that mixtape. You're gonna want to hear Dirty Sprite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one. Now, uh, him and uh, oh, um, what's the guy's name? OG Mako. Yeah, yeah. What they was the beef between thing. them? So OG Mako felt that Future's music um, was destroying lives because he glorifies drug usage and what? is encouraging kids to, you know, take 56 bars, which is like 56 Zans, I guess, and things like that. But he was also saying, like, at the same time, I'm not a hater. Like, I like Future. I have over 80 songs in my, my iTunes playlist of his, but it's just not the right message if you have such a platform that you should be preaching. And he also said, yes, I understand that I made a brainless, mindless fucking song with you guessed it, but I did that yeah. on purpose. It was calculated to garner the fan base because it's easy that way and then now I want to preach my real message in my music okay so that was well, how I was going to say I only know one OG Mako right. song Most and it's do. you guessed it exactly. and it's definitely not a great message exactly. in that record so he said that that was very very calculated and he did well now he has to make some fucking positive music well he you is you can't say and that he's, quote he's, and not come back he's been tweeting out links but like you know, shit. But he's really preaching. I didn't listen to any of that shit, to be honest. But that's what he's sending out now. So he and he said that too. Like, say some crazy shit on Twitter to get an attention. Tweet the links that you want to do. You know, clarify it in an interview. Like, so he's uh, doing all. Well, this they pieced there. it up. Yeah. Apparently, they he had spoke. a conversation and oh, okay. everything is great. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're gonna take that route with Future, 
Who's to say his, his aren't calculated? <laughs> he seems pretty calculated at this point. Well, he said that too. He said that's what people want to fucking hear from him. He knows that. I mean, you could take that route with most artists today. I was about to say, yeah. I don't know why he zoned in on him. <laughs> I mean, I'm just here for uh, trolling Sierra. <laughs> oh, that's what poor girl. That has been, dude. Listen, how epic was it though? Like, as he said that shit, he was sipping the tea when he was fucking talking this shit. Oh yeah, my gosh, was that was amazing. It was great. For those that don't know, the future documentary, they asked him. Well, I don't know if they asked him or he volunteered. But what did y'all think actually? What he said. Well, there's two different things he did yesterday. The Huff Post interview where he talked about the celibacy shit. That's no, the only one no, I saw. No. That's the only one I saw. Oh, yeah. y'all, don't, y'all only saw that. No, I heard. I mean, I saw people talking about it on Twitter. I didn't see the actual well, in clip. The, I just saw the celibacy in the clip interview, where was, it was fucking hilarious. He was talking about him and Sierra, and he was talking about how he was urging her to, you know, go back to fucking uh, body party and body party <clears> and, <throat> yeah. and and her lane and the, and. You know, and that's she was what just people, like, nah. That's what people wanted to hear from her. He was basically saying, don't chase the pop audience. Do yeah. what you do and, and the let them come, come to it. Uh, and he said she wanted to go a different route. So like he was the, like, he was like, so I was like, whatever. And like just as he was saying that, he was sipping the tea so you could tell he was basically like, yeah, that's when her <laughs> shit flopped like a motherfucker. And he said he didn't understand it because him and uh, Mike Will were coming off a of number one. Yeah. And... And uh, damn, what did he say? He said him and Mike were coming off of number one, and they were in a relationship, and she still wasn't right. And he was know, saying that like that's kind of made, it kind of made it a little weird too. But he was like, you know, whatever, because she went with Doctor Luke and went to do the album that ended yeah, up yeah, flopping. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then he also said in that documentary um, that he basically ended the engagement because she was trying to rush everything, and he wasn't trying to be a part of like the big circus of all the e news and all that stuff, all the coverage of the wedding. And he really just wanted to make music, and that was really all he gave a fuck about. And then in the Huff Post thing, which came out about a couple hours later, he said that um, she definitely didn't make him wait, and they prayed after sex. He just seems like a great guy. Yeah, <laughs> he I mean, seems like he hasn't so said of, too many things that no, I but he disagree seems with. So yeah. full of charisma, but like, but he still he did her dirty. Now he that's thought. now I, I was just about to say uh, that's without me delving into personal attacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as far as. You know, all of the bullshit that they talk about with him, his kids, uh, how he did Sierra. Like, I don't care about any of that. It's none of my business. I don't how many know. kids does he actually have? Um, Like four or something like that. Some oh. crazy number. Is, you know well, what I like, again, though? Twitter guesses everything. What I didn't realize? <laughs> yeah. I thought he had like 10 to 15. Ever since the split from Sierra. Well, they're all different mothers, though. Ever since the split from yeah. Sierra. So? He, um, oh, well. <laughs> I'm just adding to make it clear. Why <laughs> bitches always want to judge somebody <laughs> by how many word. fucking baby mamas they got? Well, he was saying like four wasn't a big number. It's a pretty... Hefty number. Uh, Anywho, well, what's his name? Uh, damn, what's my man's name? Uh, with the painted hair, Shorty Low. Shorty Low has way more. Than he has four. nine, so does nine or ten. So does DMX. There's a bunch of people with mad kids. My so guy, so Young so Jock, has a few. Oh, where, oh, Dwight Howard. That's what I was thinking of. He has eight, right? Yeah, he's um, got a lot. Uh, Little Wayne has a significant amount. Four. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm not judging. I'm not saying uh, it away. I'm just clarifying uh, the number. What do you know? <laughs> Either uh, way, I don't knew you would bite <laughs> your my tongue. favorite rapper. Huh? Anyway, uh, um, um, yeah. Is that what we're doing? Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, Everything but I, I okay. like these. I like these interviews though because uh, I don't know. I feel like we're getting a, a more personable side of him. We haven't really. He hasn't done any interviews at all since he broke up with Sierra. So we never actually got his side, which I didn't even realize or think of until he started doing this promo one for DS2. So um, it's kind of cool. It's like taking because I feel like. Uh, social media kind of made him a little bit of a villain, especially because he's been very quiet since the split. I mean, things here and there, but nothing really like speaking to people. So um, it's actually kind of making me like him a little more as a person. Future's album comes out when? Friday. This Friday, July 17th. This Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do it. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to this one. Uh, Come on, let's guess it. (sighs) Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They wanted us to do that. Ah, I I think he's going to do pretty good. Okay. I don't see Meek numbers. But let, let me open it up so we can write this down. All right. Uh, Bitch, you guessed it. Woo! I'll go first. You was right. Uh, are we doing uh, the frame to, uh, between 20,000? 20, 20. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, 50 to 70. I don't want Rory to win again. Me neither. Uh, Why do you say 50 to 70? Um, He has a, a, a good buzz in the urban crowd. I, I just don't know how many people are going to sit and buy a future album. And uh, the world, the world is yet. the world is much bigger than my timeline. So even though my no, timeline is t- <laughs> crazy, though, because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it makes you so like it makes me forget. Like it makes you feel like everyone in the world's talking about it, well, and it's that, really that's only a this small fact group of people. For J Cole, because 
for a while, everyone on Twitter hated J. Cole and he went platinum. Right. So that's, it's that so should crazy. just show like, you. I really get like fucked up sometimes. I forget that there's more to like, there's more thoughts out there than just this common consensus that I see on Twitter. Yeah, I might be a little generous with 50 to 70, but I'm going 50 to 70. Mm. All right, Marty the Body, let's hear it. Damn, man. I'm going to 80 to 100. Why? Um, Because I don't think he's going to do crazy, crazy numbers simply for the fact that he really hasn't crossed over onto um, the the regular charts. It's really he's just been having hits in the um, hip hop or, uh, urban charts. And um, but he does have a very good buzz. And I greatly underestimated Meek's buzz last time. So I do want to give some better numbers. So I think that's a safe area. Um. All right. Let's see here. Uh, you have Future Hive. You do. <laughs> you have the Future Hive. Uh, he's coming off a, a, a run. Where this For is, sure. This is anticipated. Uh, he's coming off a Drake tour. Oh, valid. It Good was point. a quick one, but it was a Drake tour. Uh, it's a Drake tour. Mm-hmm. Nonetheless. <laughs> In his sold out stadiums. Right. <laughs> mm, and I won't underestimate the power of a Drake tour. It's Drake, man. Everything he touched. You underestimated the Barbies, so I don't know if I could take your word for it. Barbs. I did. I did. They came through. They certainly did. I'd like to see his second week. I think uh, second week came out today, right? I, I definitely it? saw a tweet that said he's still number one. Yeah, he is number one. He did, an, he did another 60? Yeah. No, it was another, No, that number was uh, wrong. They readjusted it. It was 42. So the thing still was... Still not a bad second week. Yeah, but, and that was within four days, actually. Um, because of the changing of new music being released from Tuesday to Fridays now, they did a uh, one-time only 11-day span. So basically, it was last week's chart plus the new four days. So his real number that they gave was like two-something. So it was last week plus the four days. So I just want to know what top. this week was. It was 42 for the four days. He's at number one again. And the full number that they give is a two-something above 250. And that's last week plus So he days. did. Is that plus streaming? Yeah, that's sales plus streaming. So he went from two forty six to let to that plus forty two. So two eighty to forty. Two forty. Yeah. What? I don't really like the stream numbers being added. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's very confusing. confusing. It's, it, it, it's confusing. It is. It is confusing. Um, but way, like if, I, if I open it on a stream and play a song, is that a sale? Um, no, it's every. <laughs> I want to say ten thousand streams is one sale. Okay. Um, that makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah, but either way, yes, he is at number one again with an additional 42,000 units sold in the four days from the car- charts closing. Shit all over you. So this you. number to me is a bit more authentic because you wouldn't expect the barbs to go out in week two. Mm-hmm. No, they're week, They're definitely a week one crowd. It's like it's really like week one and a half, but yes. 240 to 40 is a big drop. Well, that was how are, how are seven days it? versus four days, though. It was only half a week that... That that forty came from four days. Hmm. Okay. So that's actually pretty decent. That makes sense. Hmm. Well, if you add another thirty, two forty to seventy is a big drop. It is two fo- two forty to anything not in the hundreds is a big drop. <laughs> yeah, but that's um that's pretty normal. And that's not normal. hate for the, for the idiots listening. Yeah. No, no, that, yeah, that, that's, that's just it a is big a drop. large drop, but that is pretty normal especially with the rap albums like taylor swift didn't have such a big drop but most of the rap albums since name taylor been... swift who sold a million <laughs> no that's what i'm week. saying like someone like that had like a cra- did not have a crazy drop but most of the hip-hop albums that have come out they've had a fairly huge uh decline. well future's last album i think the first week did 52 yeah it wasn't that great well who's to say that that's not that that's great? not that bad at all yeah, yeah, that, I'm just that, saying. Especially wonderful. for someone that's a, a single artist. He's yeah. not typically yeah. an album artist. So I think he can close to double that. I, I, yeah. I think he can close to double that. I want to dance around Madi's numbers somewhere, um, but I'll give him a little more. I'll put more faith in the future hive going out and, and supporting. I'll do, what'd you do, 80 Don't to start 100? believing in artists now, man. Yeah, I did 80 to 100. <laughs> you did 80 to 100? Mm-hmm. No, I just think that he can... Almost double his last outing. Mm-hmm. I, I like you said earlier. I think he's in his peak. Yeah, but I also think the people that the future hive is definitely social media based. <clears throat> obviously, I don't think Twitter's the people that buy the records. Yeah, they're and the ones. If, one, if they're just the ones your buzz like is on social media, downloaded. I don't. I can't say that 
that's who's going to buy your album, the link's going to be up right away. The people that consume on Twitter get the link from their timeline. That is They're going to tweet true. about it all day. But all right, so if you did 50 to 70 and she did 80 to 100, mm-hmm. I'm doing... Um, Don't take my point and then I'm, change your I'm number. Doing, <laughs> I'm doing 70 to 90. Well, since we're all over, you wanted to do then, you wanted to do we? over one ten, but I'll still give you that. My final number is from seventy to ninety. Off the point I just made, because I think he's gonna dance in that 90, 90 vicinity. That's what I think. No, I said it all the time. I think he'll almost double mm-hmm. the last one. Well, so. since we're all so close to each other, I guess we can't really uh, wager anything here because we're going to overlap each other <clears throat> with whatever the numbers. If no, whoever's, numbers. Whoever's, whoever's closest. <laughs> fuck you talking yeah. about. Okay, but what if it's like, uh, what if it's 90 and I, I have that in my range and so do you? If it's if it's 90 what? Let's say 90 flat. Then I win. Why? What's your number? 70, 70 to 90. 90. <laughs> well, mine is 80 to 100. So who's to say that you won? Because I actually guessed the number. Well, I'm adding that in between. What if it's 80? So then I win? Because I say that number? No. Then I win. No. Why? That just totally yeah, you took just away my yourself. point. <laughs> yeah. Her number's what? 80 to 100. 80 to 100. Oh, then you would win. Okay. <clears throat> if the number's 80. Okay. The winner is whoever is in the closest proximity of the actual number. All right. All right. So though we- all of our numbers are similar, somebody has to be within a... Uh, Within proximity. All right, so so what, works. Are you, what are we getting? I don't fucking know. We can talk about it later on the fucking group chat. So what else is going on <laughs> in the uh, in the yeah. universe? I feel like there's always so much that I want to that this, I want to discuss. This live fight, uh, the the throwing of the drinks on to Wayne as he performed was definitely. Yeah, every week you want to talk about Little Wayne. That's my favorite rapper. So, uh, so I thought Ty Dolla Sign was your favorite rapper. He is not oh. a rapper. He is a singer, folks. I don't know why people call him a rapper. Singer. He, he sings because he raps. He doesn't. He's never rapped <laughs> anything. He sings. Two of my bitches in the club. Is, and is, is yeah, I can't harmonize like that. Yeah, and they know about each other. That's why I sound like shit just now. Well, how does how do the verses go? Is he rapping Ooh, yeah. the verses? Yeah, he is. Oh, all right. So why <laughs> no, why I'm, I'm sorry. He's rapper. singing the verses. Right, listen, I don't care. But every week you want to dominate the conversation with whoever you are partial to. Yeah, well, um, that was a major right. thing yesterday. No, it wasn't. Nobody even barely, people barely spoke about Everybody that shit. Everybody was talking about, it was on TMZ top story, oh, all that, that shit. It. Well, that was that, a big that story. That means it's a huge story, TMZ fucking. It was and a by big way, story. the video, you couldn't even see if Birdman did that. Yeah. But, yeah, if you could in the second no, video. No, no, mm-hmm, There was like three All right, so go ahead, and, go ahead and hit on it. So Wayne was performing at Liv, Birdman was also there, and when Wayne was performing a Sorry for the Wait 2 track that said something about either fuck cash money or I was cash money, something like that, referring to it in the past, the crew that Birdman was with got pissed and they threw GT Vodka onto Wayne a cup and it stopped the song short. Well, you're just applying the emotion that went with it. They got pissed. Well, <laughs> I mean, did you say the name of the vodka too? Yeah, well, that's what it said. Oh, it's line. just a plug. Oh, my <laughs> created God. This. What Wait, the fuck so is I'm plugging, doing, why would I plug Birdman? I don't no. know. I'm saying they created this to oh. plug the vodka. Oh, perhaps. <laughs> um, and then, um, but what was very interesting to me was that Wayne was very, like, calm about it. But I guess that speaks to, I wouldn't say it was fear, but I think it came more out of, like, respect. Like, if my mom threw a drink at me, I'd want to kill her, but I wouldn't because it's my mom. So, I don't know. I just think it's weird that he didn't, like, react crazier. What should he ha- should he have? Uh, did he fucking, know? Did he know what happened? Should he have? Sprouted? Yeah, he looked directly up at Burman and was like, "Oh, okay, got you." And then walked up. So the stage should and he have away. sprouted his wings and flew up and gravitated to the I air mean, and not saying and anything levitated not- and fought Birdman <laughs> in the sky? Like, what are you talking? No, like, I'm, you I'm saying like not. He, he didn't probably had a skateboard with him. He could have figured it out. <laughs> I'm saying not say something should on the mic. Should he have skated all the way over to Birdman? Oh, right, guys, you guys are kicked. Flipped on his face. Okay, he should have. Pulled his gun oh, out. Right. Said it was you. <laughs> okay. Shot in the sky. Party's over. All right. <laughs> I want to move on from this combo. It's fucking because, Vans uh, bow and arrow. Yeah, what the, what the fuck <laughs> did she expect to happen? I thought he would at least say something on the mic, possibly. But then again, like I said, I get it because out of respect, he probably wouldn't want to. And okay. make it a whole bigger thing. So you're done with this. Well, I wanted to know your guys' thoughts on it, but obviously now I know. We don't him. have any thoughts okay, on this. Fuck you guys, then yes, I'm done Fucking, with it. Fucking uh, it, Wayne. Yeah, I don't, I don't. That's too like, uh, that's too much. But, but I do have a question. I do have a question for you guys. What breakup is worse? Uh, this Cash Money breakup or the Rockefeller breakup? Um, personally, Rockefeller. It hurt more. This one bothers me more. 
Oh. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> <don't say>. Shocker. <laughs> How did we know that one? <laughs> that Rockefeller um, breakup was, uh... Oh, go ahead. That hurt. Rockefeller, I think, was, like, at a peak of their run. This Cash Money one has kind of been on the lower part of their peak. Okay. So it, it wasn't, it didn't hit as hard. I mean, that's true, but at the same time, it's just a relationship that's been, I mean, I'm just like Jay and Dame, though, but it's just a relationship that's been around for so long that it's just Well, like, no, I would say Wayne and Birdman were much closer than Jay and Dame. Everywhere. Yeah, that's what I would, that's why I think to me it's so shocking and it's just really sad to see such a foundation crumble and less than the, less than the label shit, like literally a personal relationship really just dissolve like that. It's never cool to see. Well, I think at some point when you're in a business with a friend and it gets to that point, you have to decide should I end this business and keep my friendship or right. continue it and ruin both? Mm-hmm. So I, I think they probably couldn't anticipate it, but they, they could have ended this business venture and remain friends. But if you continue on, you're probably going to wreck both. Yeah, it's sad. Well, I want to keep my fingers crossed. I, I'm not necessarily certain that this is the end of Wayne and Baby. Yeah. I don't think so either. It looks that way. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to be certain that this is the end. I, I think we might see reconciliation I, w- I, I would like to think so of course you would <laughs> <laughs> you know what whenever we talk uh cash money shit or fucking uh young money shit just fucking i'll, I'll give your opinion okay <laughs> god <thank you>. damn <laughs> it yeah the jay and dame shit that that was almost like unbelievable when it yeah. happened yeah. um I, and and it seemed like the public couldn't foresee it uh, for so long. Yeah. I mean, well, once it happened and it got diagnosed, we realized it. But when it happened, it didn't. It was like, what the fuck? I think after now, when we look back at everything that was going on with the death of the dynasty uh, DVDs and all that, you saw that Dame's behavior and Jay's behavior were going in two different directions. Mm-hmm. So they're doing this whole one got to go thing on Twitter, which is really annoying to me. Right? Yeah, it is. I hate it. I, I really, 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 really. I'm starting to hate Twitter. Um, I, I wish I could delete the fucking app, but sometimes I enjoy it. <laughs> you're, not, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. I'm not. I know yeah. I'm not. And I don't want to be the guy that says, "Yo, I'm about to delete my Twitter." <laughs> <laughs> and then tomorrow you're tweeting. <laughs> well, that, that just looks like a cry for attention, and I really don't yeah. want any attention. Yo, I'm so sick of this. Yeah, oh, you guys. Guy. Yo, I'm deleting my shit. And everybody who says they're deleting their shit, they come right back. Always comes back. Yeah, oh, so I don't want to be that guy. So I just take my fucking tweet vacations. <laughs> I think I'm going to take one. But anyway, so they're doing this all, whole one got to go thing, right? Mm-hmm. So even though I hate the whole one got to go thing, uh, if you're doing rap crews. I, I saw this one. I saw it too. <laughs> Clearly. And I thought it was interesting. I did too. And, and I, had to sit, I had to sit and think. Yeah, it's difficult. But see that it's that, difficult, but it's not that difficult. Man. Eh, so all right, so let's do it. So if you do Bad Boy, Bad Boy, Rough Riders, mm-hmm. um, Rockefeller, 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 yo, Cash Money. I'm getting rid of of Rough Riders because I'm putting locks in Bad Boy. I know they were part of Rough Riders, but they were Bad Boy first. Yeah, you can't I can do that. Not- Why can you not do that? They were, they were they, with both crews. But they had a longer tenure with Rough Riders. Mm. So if they have to well, go they put, somewhere. Well, you have to put the Money, Power, Respect album with Bad Boy. Yeah. Okay. Then you put We Are The Streets with Rough Riders, which I like better than Money, Power, Respect. But. Everybody likes <laughs> We Are The Streets better than uh, Money, Power, Respect. It was uh, Rockefeller, Rough Riders, Cash Money, and who? Bad Boy. Bad Boy. Mm. I saw someone say Bad Boy. Mm. <laughs> First of all, you can never take Bad Boy out. <laughs> Bad Boy can... I thought, well, I let me not say that. Thing. Let me not say that. Some people may want to take Bad Boy out. Mm-hmm. So Damn. you take out Rough Riders. Why? Uh, not not because of what they lack, just of what the others have more of. Damn, I can't fucking call Which this Which is? Uh, better artists, albums, longer runs, more consistency, um, uh, a longer existence. I mean, I love DMX, but... That would be the, that'd be the hardest part to take out. I mean, I like Eve, but he was cool. I'm not. That's not going up against a Cash Money roster, a Rockefeller roster, um, or a Bad Boy roster. Well, give me give me Cash Money's roster that you love so much. Be Wayne, uh, Wayne's whole career, Hot, Hot Boys, Boys um, Juvie's career. Um, I'm putting Drake and Nicki in there. 
That's no. still no. cash money. No. That's no. cash no. money. No. No. That, first no, no, of all, no, that's no, young no. money. And second that's of all, that's an cash com- money. entirely yes, different situation. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's not. not. That is not considered you can't cash put money. You can them to and, with fucking cash money. And are they so signed to cash money? No. Yes or no? They're signed to young money. What is, young what is young money a part of? Young money is signed to cash money. It doesn't matter. They're okay. like two separate so entities. So they are signed to... I guarantee... Cash money takes that's money like, out of their album sales. That's well, like their calling, name is Cash Money, <laughs> so I'm sure they take money from <laughs> Ooh, as many yeah. places as but they can. But if you if we're going up based on crews and shit like that, like Nicki and Drake aren't repping Cash Money; they're repping Young Money. It's a Which separate a part of entity. Cash money. It doesn't matter though; it's not part of their you can't run. Count Drake and Nicki. Yeah, as it's cash like totally money. different. You can. No, you they're can't. They're signed to Cash Money. It doesn't matter. But we're talking to... about the the movement. Is the Cash Money logo on the back of Drake's albums? It doesn't yes. matter. We're talking <laughs> How does about that the, not matter. The movements <laughs> of it. Like is the, is the Bad Boy logo on fucking Cassie shit? Yeah, but we're not counting her towards it. Yeah, come on. Like you could put Cassie in the Bad Boy category. <laughs> Nobody's putting Cassie. <laughs> yeah, in the I didn't say that. Category. But Drake and Cassie are not the same artist. So <laughs> what are you guys talking? But about? it doesn't hey, matter. Don't you dare discredit Cassie. I love me and you. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I don't know. I, I, that's so tough. I think you guys. Well, for it. sake of the conversation, mm-hmm. can we not put Drake and Nikki in Cash Money? Because as we're as the debate is happening with these crews, I don't think the general public is putting Drake and Nikki with Cash Money. Right. I think they're talking about H. Cruz Golden Era, and that's not now with Cash Money. Like, I think Rockefeller a, I think doesn't a even exist run. anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Are you, so are you, you putting... have to bring them, compare them all back to when they really had their real run. Nikki and Drake don't count toward that. And they're really just like separate entities. Not like they're moving as a unit and just doing this whole huge. Young it's money still cash a label. Money can you, can <laughs> like, you just rank the fucking crews for me? I don't have time to hear you kids <laughs> bicker back and forth. Well, I, I'm you, not ranking it got, without if, them because they're part of if it. If you got they're not rid of, part of it. For the sake of the conversation, okay. we get how you interpret it. Okay. Everyone else does not. Okay, well then I would take out. Is Wayne's whole career in this Cash Money thing because oh, it yo. went Young Money? This is an important yo, question. You are he like started such on Cash the Money. The dysfunctional so yes. white guy, man. No, why do you gotta just make everything <laughs> difficult? What the? I'm asking because questions. Wayne is signed to Cash Money as a Cash Money artist. He started Young Money, but he is a it's, Cash Money artist. Oh so yes, his oh, entire wait, career wait, is credited to him. Is, is Marissa rapping for Wayne? <laughs> 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 Yeah, and, I ain't gonna lie, my and, nigga. And, 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 and no, the listeners cannot see her eyes right now, but I'm a little terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how does Cleveland Bay feel when you do this? What that I have that I'm fans of like Wayne and like Ty? Uh, if that's what you call it, it's not what I'm talking about necessarily. But. <laughs> um, I mean, he makes fun of me, but that's about mm. it. I, we, he's he's it's different. Like it just doesn't. Cleveland it's don't different. care. It's different. Anyway, so yeah. can can we rank these crews? Okay, okay, if you okay, took okay, out okay. Rough Riders, I would have to assume that they're last. Well, no, because that changes if we're not counting all of Cash Money. Are we only counting the Hot Boys and Wayne's first few albums? No, and, and the not, big timers. We're, no, we're just not counting Drake and Nicki. Okay, that's it. Uh, then I would put Bad Boy, Rockefeller, Cash Money, Rough Riders. I didn't know we were ranking. I thought it was supposed to be one. Well, I asked him. If you're not listening to the podcast you're on. Um, (laughs) Bad Boy, Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cash Money. And Rough Riders. Riders. Mm, I'm the same way. I rank the same. How can you do that? Because I just did. Why? How could Bad Boy be first? Uh, Just for debate's sake here. Well, I think even in the bad, Bad Boy era... Their producers were even putting out all the other competitive music. Like Bad Boy, Bad Boy ran a whole entire era. Rockefeller was extremely close to doing that, but Bad Boy owned fucking those mid '90s. Mm-hmm. Like owned them. There was the nothing time. else pumping out besides Bad Boy and Tupac. Nothing. They owned. There was no competition. Uh, you just named the competition, Death Row. I, I Bad Boy had a better run than Death Row. Hence why they weren't even added to that song. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't why? know if that can be said with such certainty. What are we crediting Death Row with? Oh, this conversation's getting interesting. Uh, we're crediting... N.W.A. We're crediting... Come on. We're crediting Death Row with N.W.A. Are we not? This goes back to the Drake <laughs> and Wayne thing. N.W.A. was not signed to Death Row. 
Dr. Dre just happened to be a part of NWA oh, before so he went to... Oh, now you want to count it like that, but you <laughs> no, no, you guys are counting it that way. You guys are counting it that way. That's why I'm doing this, because you guys are counting it this way. So just be oh, consistent in your fault. argument. Just be consistent in your argument. <laughs> why? <laughs> I, can't, why would, I can't talk with y'all. Why would I do that? <laughs> you know, unbelievable. I'm not going to be consistent in my argument. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm consistent with, with whatever oh argument God. favors my argument. <laughs> Duh. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> that doesn't make it true. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, we got Pac, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Who else was on Death Row? Snoop, but was Doggy Style under Death Row? Snoop. Wasn't Dre on Death Row? Yeah, but he didn't put out an album under Death Row. Uh, so? He was still on Let's it. fact check that. Oh my God. Let's fact check it. <laughs> Drake didn't put out an album with Cash Money, but he doesn't count. I want to <laughs> fact check you because that's important. If you give me now, pop, now facts are important. No, this fact because <laughs> it's your fact. Yes. No, I want to know if 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 Dre put out any album on Death Row because no. that's a big piece to this argument. Look up because if Dre's you give me the pop, if you give me Pac, Snoop, and Dre, yeah, then I'm gonna argue your bad boy uh, dominance. Yo, his fucking wiki is extensive. I mean, he's Dr. Dre. And I'm the he biggest is. fucking uh, bad boy guy, by the way. Here, go. You just missed it. Go you know Rory can't read. Help him. I can't. I can't. No, you just scrolled past it. <laughs> it was he right there. Can, duh, he needs his finger to read. <laughs> <laughs> Help him out here, Marissa. Oh <laughs> Rory's ne- hey, Rory's never going to live uh, down this old can't read no. show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, there so he's chronic- using his finger. He found it. <laughs> the, the, chronic- <laughs> the chronic was on. My, my finger was covering it. Huh? The Chronic was on Death Row. What do you fucking know? Okay. The Chronic, which is a Dr. Dre album, is on Death Row. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited about this NWA movie anyway. So that Go gives ahead. me Pac, uh, Pac's post-jail discography. Mm-hmm. That gives me The Chronic. And that gives me Snoop. Was Doggy Style on Death Row? I'm about to check. No. So what Snoop album are you counting? <laughs> The one that was on death <laughs> row. <laughs> you fucking that bitch. one. <laughs> you can't even remember it, so it must have been not murder. With, murder, with, murder oh, was the case. Release no doggy style with oh, death yeah. row. It, it does say that. Boom boom. Oh, yeah, I was so, asking. I wasn't oh, yeah, so telling. I don't, so I don't know about. Uh, so I don't know about your old fucking yo bad boy. There was nothing else moving. Well, he was, did for to his credit. He did say run. except for um. And I did say the, the mid nineties. Yeah, but that don't but, fucking count. That you mentioned the competition. You say yo bad boy oh, no, had no, 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 no competition no, no. except for the competition. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> no, that's not true. That's what you said. <laughs> you could name a thousand competitions, and it would be more of a competition than one person. <laughs> huh. I don't know either. All right. <laughs> Dog, Doggy, style, the chronic, Doggy Style the Chronic was out well before Bad Boy existed. Bad Boy took back... The only shit that was coming out in the that's early 90s was the West Coast. That, so Bad Boy became the competition and then what, surpassed them not, if you're matching true. up era versus era at party, the same time. Party and Bullshit came out what year? Uh, that was not on Bad Boy. That was on Uptown Records. Uh, whose song is Party and Bullshit? Biggie. And he wasn't on Bad Boy, you're saying? You just said we're counting post jail Pac era because that's when he was on death row. So I'm naturally going to do that with Biggie as well. I'm just trying to be consistent with your points. But there, oh, there was a bad boy. <laughs> but there was a bad boy. He was signed to Uptown Records. Who? I mean, the Notorious B.I.G. So he wasn't on Bad Boy when Party and Bullshit came out is what you're saying. Because yeah. I disagree with that. Okay. Let's fact check it. Let's look it up. Yeah, Rory being Rory being the looker upper guy has to change. <laughs> I know. Well, he's the only one. No, actually, I was about to say he's the only one that brings a computer, but I absolutely have my computer right here. Yeah, man, Rory can't read. Yeah, and he uses my. And he totally on. looks like he should be able to read. By the way, you look like a classic man. <laughs> 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 okay, party and bullshit no, label no, no, uptown. Oh, no, 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 uh, joke with me first. Joke with me first. No, 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 for the listeners, yeah, yeah, come on, come on. He like, can't read. He dresses really well. Oh. You're like a broke classic <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a uh, fucking cla- the becoming of classic man. You're like classic kid. Classic kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'll give you that joke. Great. That's pretty good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> I have nothing, nothing to say back. Uh, all right, all right, back to our. Like classic so boy. Party, party and bullshit is on label just uptown. Nothing else. All right. 
All right, we didn't even, me and you are fucking engaging here. We didn't even give Marissa's take on anything. Oh, you had the same yeah. take as Rory, right? Yep, I agree. All right, completely. so if you throw no limit in the in the field here, uh, then what happens? Uh, oh, that's tough. Um, shit. Say, uh, no Limit put out an album every other Tuesday. <laughs> Yo, those covers were <laughs> that epic. That the album covers from back then. Them and the Cash Money album covers. They had some great. Well, how, how many classic albums does No Limit have? That, that would be a, a question I would have to raise. Because a lot of these crews have, have classic albums that you can name right off the top of your head. I could be mistaken unless someone else can name a classic album from No Limit. I, uh, I mean, I'm a big Make Them Say Uh fan too, but... And Bout It, Bout It. No Limit just has so much content. Yeah, I know. They, put, they literally put out an album every Tuesday. That you can't. <laughs> literally. <laughs> like, literally. And they all sold. Yeah. Like... That was that, the golden era. Master P was on Forbes next to fucking Yo, oil remember, remember his MTV Cribs episode with the fucking gold. Are we yeah. counting? Wait, are we counting Little Romeo? <laughs> Yo, that song was stuck in my head no. the other day. <laughs> Little soldiers need love. <laughs> oh my gosh! I used to like Little Romeo. I was in eighth Yo, grade. Well, you have Marissa, 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 Marissa. <laughs> what? Listen, when and I may have said this before. Well, I have to speak to your parents whenever you uh, perish. I really is want Jesus. morbid. That is so morbid. I really want to get your brain inspected. Thank you. Like I have to understand it. I mean, what are you going to really find there, though? You YouTube classic man because <laughs> you interviews because you had a crush on him. Yes, Jaden. And Little Romeo's song was stuck in your head in 2015. Yeah, well, it just randomly popped in because I saw something. I said something about Little Soldiers, and almost then it just came in my head. Little Soldiers need love. Um. I don't know how I would rank this. Uh, I'm not kicking anybody out. <laughs> I hate you sometimes. Yeah, I'm not. I really hate yeah, I'm you not sometimes. doing it. I'm not doing it. I, I can't. I can't kick no limit out because if you take no limit out, you got to take away fucking Master P, and I cannot do that. Master P, fucking C murder. I, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. um, bad boy, I love. If you remove bad boy, then you got to remove fucking uh, both Biggie albums. Uh, my unpopular classic, which is No Way Out. Um, it was just too much content from Bad Boy. Um, yeah, and or, I'm counting R&B in that too. G Dap, Harlem World. <laughs> yeah, Harlem World. <laughs> like, it's too. It's too much. Um, Rockefeller is all of fucking Jay, who's the fucking goat. Yeah. Well, state with some beans, more shit. Beans, beans has yeah, great the albums. State property. Hold um, on. Kanye, you have to count in there. Yeah, the early. Wait, yeah. what? No, Kanye came. Bam. And I'm he not was, counting no fucking Kanye no, and college, Rockefeller. The, the college dropout, the first, college is on dropout was a records. very Rockefeller I'm still album. not counting. No, the first album was absolutely 100%. You can't 100%. do that. <laughs> no, I, because I know, you no, don't no, want I know to. I'm wrong. <laughs> no, I know it's, I know it's wrong, but per, me personally, I'm not counting that as Rockefeller. It After was, that, that first album Rockefeller was completely was Rockefeller. done no. and finito. No, they they no, were wasn't. folding, but they were still existing. Well, well, maybe because I was in the building and fucking Rockefeller was yeah. over with. Yeah. Uh, I just don't see it as. I mean, he had the Rockefeller chain and all that stuff. Like it was. Oh man! Well, no, oh. it was. He the was album, very. The album was on <laughs> you Rockefeller. You always give and, the worst point. He's part of it. Don't try to save Marissa. It, uh, Wait, let, 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 let's focus on that for a minute. Yo, so because he had the Rockefeller chain <laughs> yes, on, it was still in existing as a <laughs> yeah, label. Vic, Vic, Vic Mensa fucking, has the Rockefeller yeah, chain right yeah, now. Yeah, Isn't that the Rock idiot. Nation chain? Jesus. Anyway, it's different. Um. Yeah. For, for me, college dropout. You know, that was the beginning of a new era. I, 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 I get that it was. was. I, I get that it was on Rockefeller. But it was also I, the I know end that, of I know the that last I'm era. wrong. I know that um, I'm wrong about that. But also as a producer, he was there at the peak. Mm. And he was responsible for a lot of those records. As a producer, okay. So, right. Uh, okay. He's he's definitely part of Rockefeller Records. DMX, I love DMX fucking I bought the Drag On album. Oh my god, Drag On. Um the Rough Riders compilation albums, fucking uh, The Locks, Eve. I bought that album, too. Um, you know what? If I have to, uh, who we got? And you put Swizz Swiss, as a producer. Swizz Beats, yeah. So if we're going to add Kanye as a producer to Rockefeller. I might have to put Cash Money last. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I guess, yeah. Because Wayne. It was really Wayne. When Wayne really peaked. Granted, Ju was Juvie's run was crazy, and the Hot Boys had a cool run. They gave us. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't. Well, I wasn't. I personally yeah. wasn't a Hot Boys um, guy. And I um, think they did a lot for for Southern music on the radio. 
Um, they did not to, not to oh, say there wasn't. I'm not great. discrediting anything. That, yeah, yeah. That, no, no. That no they, I'm just adding to the, to 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 what they have accomplished. But did you count I, the big timers too. I wasn't a big timers guy. I do. I, I enjoyed them. <laughs> uh, for me, when I thought Cash Money, I thought for uh, 400 degrees. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would be the peak. That, if we're that, not counting, that was the album that I needed. Ladder Wayne or an early Wayne. Didn't really do it for me. He wasn't. He no. didn't really catch his win until like he's Carter rap's two. most improved player. Like I like, think so. In yeah. like oh five, no, like really. significantly. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't think many people talk about that. Yeah. Uh, the jump that Wayne made. But, I all, but I also, seen it. we didn't see kids. We didn't see thirteen uh, year olds that are now rap legends, rapping at thirteen. So it's still, like, like, like we watched him grow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, we watched Wayne grow. Not a lot of people. Careers were oh, love, under the microscope. Don't do that again, Mercy. I was being sarcastic, obviously. <laughs> Your sarcasm is whack. <laughs> Thank but, you, Joe. But anyway, um, damn, I had a point I wanted to make about this. I was going to ask uh, from these collectives, which which who gave us the best album? Mm-hmm. But I guess we would be here too long. To and that's that. super yeah. relative. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. And the other day, I asked Rory, and I and I'll I'll, I'll ask this here. Oh, this is turning into like a hip hop podcast. Yeah, it is. Um, but whatever. <laughs> I I asked Rory the other day, so I ask it here for the listeners to chime in on. I asked Rory to give me the five greatest rappers based on oh, yeah, this a consecutive be- two album span. Yeah. A consecutive two album span, which is Illmatic It Was Written, which is college dropout, late registration, uh, you know, two albums. Back to back. So, not two albums in their discography. Yeah, not two albums in their discography. Two back to back albums. And that, I think our list was pretty much the same. Yeah, but um, we had DMX, we had Kanye, we had um, Nas. Nas. I I wanna I wanna almost say um. I w- I wanted to put in Dre. Mm. He only has two albums, but they were back to back. Valid. <laughs> I'm not counting Dre. 2001. I mean, it, it was a 12 yeah, year like a, span. Yeah, there's a really but, large gap there. I like. I have to. Like, I have to fucking. Uh, I have to think some more. Oh, we mentioned, I, we mentioned M with Slim Shady. Oh, M and has to Marshall go Mathers. there. Oh, I have to put M. In M has to go there. Uh, I know some people that'll put Jeezy there. I wouldn't. Yeah, you can make an argument. Uh, I, I can't say I would. And I would put a. I would put a. I would put beans there. Hmm. But anyway, tweet. And, and I'd like someone to try to argue Jay Z into that, just to see what they would have to say. Yeah, me and me and Rory came up with. We don't really think Jay, Jay should would, be in there. Jay would go there. Talking back to back. If you're talking back to back, what do you do? Reasonable doubt in Reasonable volume, doubt, volume one? one. No, I like volume one, but eh. um, then you put Blueprint. Kingdom Come, if I'm Definitely, not mistaken. Yeah. No, <laughs> no Blueprint and Blueprint Two. two I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no. Black album, Kingdom the black Come. Album, no. Like it's Kingdom Come, Black album. Nah, that ain't getting it done. No. Mm. Volume two, volume three, cool. Yeah, that yeah. don't that don't really get yeah. it done either. Uh, but we're open to being wrong. So, uh, yeah, let us know. Tweet us, email us. What's the email, Rory? I'll name this podcast later at gmail dot com. Yeah, email us, tweet us your thoughts. Uh, let us know if we're leaving anybody out on there. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna, Rory. We have to send Philly the R and B list so he can do it. Oh yeah. yeah, that has to be done. We're we're late again. We push back well, the bracket. Um, I turn my laptop off out of fear of the Barbies finding my IP address. So. What album do you like better, uh, uh, Beans' first album or Jeezy's first album? That's tough. Um. Yeah, I think that's Fuck. really tough, and it's that's a question really that tough. I can't, that I don't typically ask people because I know Jeezy's popularity will dominate the conversation, mm-hmm. and I know he had an amazing first album that is a cult classic. Yeah, but I like the truth is a great fucking album. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah because I I'm mean, talking to a younger audience. Well, it's not, no, that's not true. I don't, um, I don't ask that. Question. I, I was there for both those albums. Yeah, I feel like, like our audience as a consumer has, waiting for them and buying them. Even I if was they were in, even if they them. were in middle school, I feel like most of our audience has probably heard both of those. Mm, I don't know about that. I was in high school when Jeezy's first album came out. Yeah, Je- well, no, I know. No. So when you talk about Beans' first album, yeah, because I was a freshman in college when Jeezy's first one came out. Yeah, wh- when did the Beans come out? Ninety nine? No. Beans' album no, 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 was no. oh oh I'm I'm one off, awful brain or oh two. I was thinking oh yeah. two. It was oh one or two. Which one you got? 
off rip. I listen to Beans more than I do that Jeezy album, so I'm gonna say Beans. I listen Marty. to Jeezy more. Uh, Could have guessed that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I don't know where we're at in time, but I do want to do what it might be over for because yeah. I was watching um Uncommon Sense. I was watching Charlemagne's show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be over for that show rather quickly. It will. That show's not it's just not a good show. Um I do appreciate the attempt. I do too. And what he is trying to do. Um but nah. and I do I do have a couple of Black Panther friends that feel like, uh, you know, here's the white people coming on <laughs> stealing here's the, Black Twitter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got some Black Panther friends that feel like that. But 11 p.m. on a Friday night, number one. Yeah. Uh, number two, uh, what I learned watching that show was I want to read thoughts from the people that I follow. I don't necessarily want to see the people that I follow on television with the conversation dominated by Charlemagne interrupted by whatever the white people well, in they the plugged our podcast want you to. They did. They also <laughs> said no one listens to it, which was really rude. No well, one I, listens to our podcast? That's, that was the comment. Yeah, that was a little confusing. Um, he said no one listens to the podcast <laughs> and, and then, then began to talk, to talk about, about the podcast. podcast. That, and, and, and made it his comments. goal to come back from vacation <laughs> and talk about our <laughs> yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, Charlemagne, yeah. you are smarter than that. Yeah. You're a smart guy. Yeah, <laughs> You're yeah. way smarter yeah, than that. I don't that. really get it. This and there's, pod- also, there's also this thing right below on SoundCloud that tells you how many people listen, <laughs> and it's over 25,000. Mm. <laughs> a week. Um, yeah, Charlemagne. That's me. just SoundCloud, not even iTunes. But I think it was trolling on purpose. I don't think he's... Well, either way... Uh, that show's getting the fuck out of here, and it's not going to be around very long. 11 o'clock on a Friday night. Poorly but, slotted. Yeah. Well, they must not believe in it if they're slotting it there. Well, well it's clearly, new. I mean, it's, it's giving it a like shot. A test. Yeah. yeah, but the show's just not good. I haven't seen it, so it, I can't it, speak it's, it's not a good... It's just not a good show. I watched it. Uh, I watched it. I wanted to see. I wanted to critique. Um, and poor tax, man. Oh, man. They, they wouldn't even sit tax next to Charlemagne. <laughs> Oh, they put him over at the kitty table. They put him at the side table. All the caping that fucking tax does for Charlemagne. You could have sat him next to you at the A table. That was fucking horrible. I felt and, and out of fear of his mouth, that's what editing's for. Yeah. Just let him go off and, and grab the funny clips. Yeah, actually, tax is the entire reason that I wanted to tune and I wanted to see tax's hairline. And You're so stupid. I tax did. Is, tax is so funny, though. Uh, hey, you're not plugging tax on this podcast. I'm not, shut the no, fuck up. I'm not plugging it. And shout out to Kaz. I watched because I, I wanted yeah, to see Yeah, I'm Kaz. excited Kaz for Kaz, is a good Kaz too. Mine, and I was very happy that he. Got selected for that show. You know, for all of our podcast beef, I do enjoy tax, but uh, <laughs> our yeah. podcast beef. Yeah. Well, podcast beef is just funny. It's yeah. It, it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I don't want anybody out there to think that there's actual podcast beef. No, I don't. Because that's an if, oxymoron in itself. <laughs> if there was a podcast beef, I don't know how that would go. Like, what is a podcast beef? Uh, hey, podcast beef is like what Peter I was just had about to with say, Combat what, what Jack. And, yeah. and Combat Jack. They had real podcast beef. They did. What well, they had beef. I think that was like was real life beef, though. Yeah. So. Yeah, but that is what resonates over yep. to fucking valid. Yep. What a bunch of losers. <laughs> 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 Anybody that has a podcast beef, my nigga, you really a, have to reevaluate. <laughs> is a loser. <laughs> your entire thought process. And, and Combat Jack is my guy, but you know what? I can't even say he I, had uh, podcast beef because. He didn't speak about it on his podcast. Yes, he did. Oh, no, yeah, no, he, he spoke no, about it. No, he didn't. On, oh. He spoke about it on Texas podcast. Well, I, li- I listen. Well, that makes I mean, it podcast beef. Yeah, it's yeah. still a podcast. He spoke about it on a podcast and his podcast network. beef. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm rolling, I, enjoy, I'm I enjoy his podcast. I but, love Combat Jack. But he, d- I think he did the raise the bar Rosenberg thing on his podcast. But it doesn't matter. It was funny. I enjoyed it. Well, all right. Well, bottom line, <laughs> off, off of those guys, I yeah. am not partaking in any podcast <laughs> beef. But I am going to uh, fuel this fake podcast. Uh, podcast beef between tax and i um but yeah that show is fucking horrible i don't i don't have it lasting very long at all yeah i don't um so yeah it might be over for uh, uncommon sense on mtv2 friday at 11 p.m if you want to check it out and you guys never have it it might be over for i have one birdman (laughs) hey don't judge you this is my thoughts I'd, lo- I'm, I'd love yeah, to I'm, hear how it might be over for Birdman. Please enlighten me. His entire because roster. Because I don't see it being over. His entire roster has fleed. 
And I don't think that he can't come back from it. What entire roster has fleed? Everyone's gone or trying to be gone, rather, I should say. Every single person. Which means, well, I need you to pick one. Well, okay. Is everyone, everyone gone or is everyone trying to be gone? Half of them are gone. The other half that remain are trying to be gone. All right, gone. so who's gone? Um, These are really irrelevant people. Oh, what do you fucking know? Khaled came and left. Uh, Busta Rhymes came and left. Mystical came and left. Young Thug was doing a management situation. He's gone now. He wants nothing to do with it. Um, Wayne is trying to get off. Tyga's trying to get off. Drake and Nikki are trying to leave with Wayne. Um, and so, I none of the, so none of the prominent people are off. No, but they're trying to be. But what I'm not saying off. is that there's there clearly is... some shitty business going on, and that's why I'm. That's what well, my basis have. for my argument is. Well, we could have told you that years ago when all of these people were randomly suing Cash Money, yeah. saying they weren't getting paid. We could have assumed that shitty business was being done. But what I'm saying is, I'm saying it's all coming to a head now. No, it ain't. He's got fucking paperwork on these people. I know, but that doesn't mean that people. It ain't gonna be over for me if I got paperwork on somebody. Mm-hmm. What do you th- What do you think? Because somebody want to leave, I'm told. All right, I'll just put this paperwork in the dresser over here and <laughs> no, we'll but forget it's gonna, about that. It's gonna be all worked out. Whether he gets money from it at the end or not is not really what I'm saying. Pocket wise, it's just I'm just saying like label wise. As this ain't the first time it's happened to him. Yeah, the whole squad. Pretty much, all he had left was Wayne that who couldn't really rap at that point. That's valid. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good so point. this has happened to him before. Yeah. And he bounced and back he, quite nicely. He came out of the fire with like, like a phoenix on that one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Mm. And uh, I'm sure he has businesses that have nothing to do with music. No, I'm not so. saying financially it's over for him. I'm saying as a lady. Yeah, you don't think lugs are going to get popping? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, lugs is flex, right? That's not baby. No, that was, that was both. Oh. I owned a pair of lugs at one point. I bet I you did. Don't oh. doubt that at all. I remember when they used to have ads that on like whoa, source whoa, magazine. Whoa, 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 right, defend your whoa, shitty whoa, show. Whoa, defend your shitty whoa, show. Whoa, whoa, Before lugs uh, was uh, uh, associated with such whack juice, <laughs> mm-hmm. way back in the sixth grade. So this was, what, 95? Maybe even before. Yeah, it has to be because I was in third grade. Maybe even before. I had a pair of brown, uh, low cut lugs that were very dope. I so, used to love those. Now lugs. I totally understand why Alma never gave you the time of day. Word makes total sense. Well, let, let's be clear. <laughs> Alma wasn't the best dressed motherfucker either <laughs> back Aww. then. Hey Alma, let me just throw that one out there. <laughs> I wasn't in her because she was such a fashionista. <laughs> well, Eric Carantini came with the Gucci loafers now, with his Eric, drug dealing. Now Eric Carantini <laughs> was a great dresser, but uh, totally off of that. All right, so Marissa says it might be over for a fucking billionaire who yeah. is not going to be over. All I right, don't, I don't have one, and so. Rory doesn't have one, of course, what about because Donald Trump? Rory is Rory. Uh, Donald Trump is a fucking dick, and I'm not going to waste any time talking about <laughs> Donald Trump here. No, he's, I will he's say doing a lot of backpedaling. I he had to. I hope this continues. I hope to God he doesn't. He won't even get the Republican vote, but it's just entertaining to watch. Yeah, it's it's funny. It's fun to watch uh, train wrecks. Word. Yeah, but uh, it is awful that he is at that platform in our country. That someone is even going. Yeah, you know what? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know that nigga when my nigga El Chapo sent <laughs> them things through. Ah! Boy. That nigga El Chapo sent them things through. Trump was nervous the motherfucker. They were saying they put up uh, 3.8 million or pesos to uh, to to turn them in. Fan, I ain't doing that for three. Ain't nobody <laughs> fucking turning in El Chapo for fucking telling, 3.8 million pesos. That's I was like telling $20. Reed, I was telling Reed today. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I was not reading today. I don't even want to accidentally run into him at the deli, <laughs> just so he thinks maybe I know who he yeah, is. Yeah, no, nah, fuck all of that. Um, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Where are we going? Oh, my favorite part of the podcast. Emails. <laughs> listen to Roy Reed. <laughs> yes. Emails. We get to listen. Get your to- pointer finger out, Roars. <laughs> we, we get- <laughs> I got a manicure just for today. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> we got to help Rory learn to read. Uh, Mad pressure. <laughs> yeah. We don't even get a Rory's rant anymore. Oh, man. You're really slipping, bro. I have been, huh? Yeah. You, you haven't been listening to Bill Burr? I, yeah. That's the problem? I, you know, I got I to gotta free up on my podcast so yeah. I can steal some more shit. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking horrible, Rory. Anyway. All right. I'm not going to say his name because I think he's a piece of shit. Um, what's up, guys? I think the only pieces of shit email is. What's up, guys? I've been listening to the podcast for all 21 weeks now, and I've got to say you guys are very entertaining to listen to, and on occasion, hugely insightful. Thank you. On occasion. Where we are. (laughs) I didn't know. (laughs) By mistake. I have a certain situation I'm dealing with, and I thought I could benefit from hearing you all's thoughts on what I should do. 
I have Shorty that I've been on and off cool with for three years, and right now we're more so switched off. Real nigga. Yeah. This particularly because I got to college and wanted to finesse some hoes during my first year. That's real nigga shit. Yeah. And that I feel can like be he doesn't little, really talk like that. That can be a little difficult when you have a whole ass girlfriend. It's possible with a half girlfriend. The whole it's it's a little difficult. From what mm. I've heard. From what not, I've heard. Not from what I've heard. Mm, I'm following him. <laughs> Uh, all right. I know we still have mad feelings for each other, but there's a lot of pride in the way, and also the fact that she has a boyfriend. Wait, what? what? <laughs> My question is, how do I keep the possible door open so that when I'm really ready to settle down the road, I can finesse back into those cheeks again? Well, what happened is he had a girlfriend. He left he her went, for college. He went to college. Yeah, yeah, okay. They broke up. She got a boyfriend. He's fucking hoes, but they still love each other. All right, we'll just keep talking to her until paths cross again i don't know yo just text her late at night to piss off her new man dirty mac as much as you can be there oh well, see, I, <laughs> see I, w- I would suggest for you to not talk to her I, at all i was being um, facetious you gotta fuck with your hoes you don't want to talk to her you want to make since you know those feelings are there you want to keep them there you don't want to make them any worse so just let her be in her relationship while she has feelings for you and when you're done fuck with your hoes you double back and uh fuck your girl who has feelings for you so she'll let you fuck Duh. I need to just solve everyone's problem. Here's, here's one from Marissa. Oh. oh, God. Is Marissa having a bird evolution? Thank you. I've been listening. Yeah, for the last 20 weeks, <laughs> she's been having a bird evolution. <laughs> I've, been, uh, I've been listening since the beginning. Big fan of Joe. Uh, now, oh, thank you, babe. It's a dude. It's a dude. But... Oh. Yo, my nigga. <laughs> yo, 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 good, good looking, my G. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the hetero support. <laughs> Yo, that's real shit, my nigga. Yo, that's good looking, Shay. Man, a man. <laughs> All right. Uh, now it seems kind of odd as the podcast gains more popularity. Marissa, Marissa's air mattress has blown up even more. Are you worried? Oh, that was a funny reference. I like that one. Thanks, guy. Are you worried that at 27, when you try and settle down and all of the flyouts and double standards wait, are going to hurt you all in the, the long fly- run? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Back the up. Fly out attempts. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Which might be worse than actual fly outs. <laughs> the fly out attempts from her. <laughs> I use it fly out of tips from the girl. You know when supposedly you fly out a girl, you have to ask for her birthday yeah. name. Marissa uh, just sends that. <laughs> oh man, look at my. <laughs> she just sends it. Yo, yo, you need, just in case it was crossing your mind. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not a uh, JV honey man. I mean, I'm not used to that life. Anyway, keep reading the email. Clearly. That's it. Um, <laughs> That's um, it. <laughs> are you worried that it, uh, at 27 when you try to settle down, all these flyouts and double standards are going to hurt you in the long run? No. Because I also know, like, this sounds so gay, I also know my spirit, and I know that it's really not going to affect me because it doesn't mean much to me now. It won't mean much to me in a relationship, and I don't really want a guy that's, like, super caught up on all types of little oh, shit. Me being, <laughs> on me trying to fly out every week. <laughs> that's not what I've been trying to do. <laughs> wait, wait, she just worded that as, I don't want a guy who's super caught up with little shit. <laughs> I guess it's not necessarily a little Yo, shit, right? I can't right? make this stuff up. <laughs> okay, wait, I wait. had to double take because I was reading and wait. I was like, I didn't hear that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me reword that. The nerve of this guy. I don't want to um, <laughs> pay attention to detail about my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a... I don't want a guy that listens to my podcast. No, no, I don't... I, that's not even reasonable. Um, you no. just... What a guy who's listening to your podcast. Right. And so does Cleveland. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah, you just contradict yourself every fucking sentence that comes out. I feel like someone that I'm meant for will just understand it and get it and fuck with the double standard shit and not, no, I'm saying like not consider the double standard. Because I'm very open about my shit. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not trying to be somebody. I'm not. No, no, we got it, my nigga. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, we understand. Like, man. I'm real about it and I'm not <laughs> no. like. No, we, the, the worst, no, we, the worst kind of hoes are the ones that but, do that shit behind closed doors nah, and try nah, to act different. Nah, them bitches is way worse, yo. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> that is my response to that. Oh take me as I am, motherfuckers. I hate when people say that. What, take me as I am? <laughs> I'm not saying Madi shitty, but like I hate when people like, if you can't put up with me like this, then you can't have me when I'm like, well, no, no, what if, if you're, you're just can... a shitty person? Yeah, yeah. but I'm like, not. Take me yeah, for... Yeah, no, no, I'm saying this. Didn't no, no you are. No, I'm but... not. <laughs> yes, you are. I I'm hate not. when people say that. Yeah, like, well, take me for who I am. What if you're a shitty person? <laughs> Why should I take you, you as a shitty person? I'm not a shitty person at all. Okay, you know what? I, let me paraphrase. Let me rephrase. 
You have to look at, let's look at this from the eyes of a potential bae. Yeah. Would you be a shitty person then? No, because I'm keep, I'm being All right, honest. That's, that, that's not honest. And you, you I wouldn't be, be shitty, playing you, him. You so. would be a shitty person if a potential bae was listening to your fucking, uh, shit, a potential bae, li- a bae listened to the podcast and you know, you, you know what he said? Because I was fucking talking shit about him and I called him a basic bitch from Jersey. So he thinks you're a shitty person. Yeah, I mean, that was a shitty move on my part, which I felt bad about a little bit. But And Cleveland Bay listened to one of the episodes and called you a shitty person. Them. Yeah, but at one point he yeah, wasn't so happy with what he was hearing. He wasn't prepared for it, I so guess. So he and thought he, you were a shitty he person. And then he was like, oh, fuck it, never mind. Uh, Fish Spot every other week calls you a shitty person. And then he's back in love again, so that doesn't count. You what might be a shitty person. Nope. I think well, from the eyes of these people, right. I love you and care about you, so I don't think you're a shitty person. But then again, I'm not trying to put my dick inside of you. So Valid. Uh, I'm saying if somebody's trying to put their dick inside of you, you might be a shitty person. Uh, I mean, I could see that, but I also think that There's if they actually There's an ass-eating joke me, somewhere in there. An ass-eating joke? Somewhere in there. In there? Yeah. In me saying... Person, Someone yeah. trying to yeah. say, Oh, shitty person. Shitty person. Shitty it was funny to me. Yeah. Fuck I got you. it. No, Fuck I got you. It was yeah. funny to me. Fuck you. You, you delivered it. It. Yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it was yeah. poor timing. Yeah. Um, it was poor timing. I but no, I, I just think it's because I'm honest and um I'm actually not like a like player person. So. You should talk to Ileana. Mm, I think I'm I think I got a good grasp on it. I just mm. go for shitty guys. So you don't have a good grasp on it. No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm no, saying you really that, gotta listen I'm to saying women that's speak. That's why I'm not in a relationship. They because I go say for those one fucking thing, dumbasses, and immediately follow it with some other shit that goes against what they just said. That shit that you did this weekend that your therapist makes you do. Say that one more time. Okay, yeah. Say it one more time. Yeah, my. Because if you say something three times, you might realize that you sound like a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was. Uh, uh, for the for the listeners, my therapist, when I say like really retarded shit, sometimes we say retarded shit and don't know how retarded we sound. So my therapist makes me repeat things, um, and then I typically realize how retarded I sound. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was doing that with who was that? Rocky? Oh, she sounded retarded. Boy, she sounded retarded. Um, like that shit Marissa just said. Thank you. I got a really good grasp on things. I just like fucked up niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I understand it is what I'm saying the good grasp is. And I know that I go for shitty guys, but that's just because I'm retarded. So. Uh, whatever. I got Joe Burgers <laughs> in my fridge. <laughs> I got to get to it. I had enough of you guys. Hey, where we at? What time? Time to go. 80. Oh, Damn. Yeah. A longie. It was a good flowing podcast. We love track of time. I didn't think I was talking to you idiots that long. Thank you. I didn't, so I didn't want to talk You're to y'all so that nice long. to your friends. I've been sitting here holding this piss. and Same. Same. And, Same. And, and, I call and, the girls' room. Well, I mean, that's what works because I'm a girl. And, and pissing uh, when you're on crutches and can't walk is like the most <laughs> annoying thing to do. I fucking drip on myself every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fun visual I don't at all. really drip on myself, but it was funny to say. Yeah. Uh, uh, whatever. Visual. Anyway, yeah. uh, so we're going to get out of here. I'll name this podcast later. That was episode number 22. I think so. Yep. And that was that. Any last words from you guys? Oh, great. No. Wonderful. (laughs) Wait, wait.